Hi, YouTubers. Welcome to Pink Dino. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing well. Let's take off Mr. Otis's little harness. Okay. Well, today, today, I wanted to talk about the closing Invictus Games, but I saw this morning this interview with Thomas Markle, and I wanted to address it. And I want to just, I'm just going to say it. I am just going to say it. Meghan Markle, your day of reckoning is coming. Your day of reckoning is coming because what you have done to your father, what you continue to do to your father is disgusting. I am sickened by this woman's behavior. It is appalling to me that anybody in public life who is out there smiling, acting all like, you know, all's right in the world. I'm taking a picture with you. I'm taking a picture with you. I'm, I'm here for the veterans. I'm here because I'm with my husband. I'm here because I'm here to do good in the world. I'm a humanitarian. I like people. I want to show that I'm nice and friendly. <laughs> Girl and your daddy's on TV making a plea about wanting to see his grandchildren and you think nobody going to notice your stupidness. Well, you know what? They're going to notice it because I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to talk about your stupidness, your egotistical bad behavior. This is disgusting. You are the worst of the worst of people that are celebrities. In my opinion. Okay, so Mr. Markle talked about Megan in his interview this morning, and there's this article that Jack Royston put out. Now, you know, sometimes I'm, I'm feeling Jack Royston, sometimes I'm not, it just depends. But, you know, I just look at the things that Megan has done. I mean, for example, this whole In-N-Out Burger pap shot, when she was so-called out, called out about, you know, going through the drive-through, do you know, this woman is setting shots up. She is setting them up for people to put out there. She's collaborating with social media people that have large platforms, trying to get them to film her, catch her in candid moments and putting it out there as if these are people that are fans that are catching her in the public and it's just going out there and it's all good news. Cause let me just tell you something. If I ever, 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 ever saw this woman out in public and I snapped something with her, I'm not going to have something nice to say about her. So then you will know that is real. <laughs> but all the candid shots that we see with this woman, they are these pieces on trying to get people to see her and to like her because she's, you know, oh, a candid moment, a candid moment. No, she, she is coordinating all of this. Is that not what her own father was trying to do in the beginning? And I see people in their stupid comments about what well, he was selling his daughter out work for money. No, he was not. He was trying to have dignity about his own appearance. He was trying to give himself some good set up publicity because that's what celebrities do. And Megan continues to do it. It's no different from that in and out burger thing that we saw, but yet she wants us to believe that her father sold her out or that her father did something so egregious. You know, and like Thomas Markle says, you know, people who have killed people have been having had forgiveness from their own families. But this woman cannot seem to find it in herself to forgive her father. And that is despicable. That is that is just so unbelievably raw evil. How can you be so cold? How can you be so just isolating and forgetting about all the things your father has done for you? This man didn't want anything from her. All he wanted was her love. And the people that come out and agree with Megan and to try to say that he's the bad guy, you don't know the full story or you obviously haven't, haven't been watching the things that this woman has been doing to see. She is not somebody that you can look at and think, oh, OK, yeah, she, she, she's, a, she's the real deal. <laughs> oh, no. Everything about this woman is fake. OK, so we ain't even going to try to go there with people in their non uh, rational uh, uh, defense of Megan and, and, and why she should be ghosting her father. And if she's listening to those folks, shame on her and shame for the shame on the people who are saying it. 
So Jack is going on, and I and I saw the interview, and I thought it was a really good interview. You can clearly hear his um, his speech has has changed from having the stroke and how he has to think a lot harder to get things to come out um, a lot more fluid. And you know he's going to be eighty years old. Who who doesn't sympathize with somebody who is clearly hurting the pain that, that is there. And this is what I see in the generation of children today in general. There is no respect. There is no command to, to, to authority. You know, you, I don't understand how young people, especially someone like Megan, cannot show just common respect to your father. And people that, that take up for her, that, that, that say it's okay. These are young people who themselves probably don't respect authority. You know, and then Harry has the nerve to talk about respect during his closing remarks of the Invictus Games, where he too does not know how to show respect for authority. You know, there's so much a lack of respect for people who are older than you, that, that know more than you. Of course, people that are older make mistakes, but at the same time, when do we start to make young people be accountable for showing basic respect for people, especially older people? You know, and I just can't understand why people looked and I thank goodness the Royals did not come out and support Harry and Megan with the Invictus Games. And I know that's kind of like a dig at the veterans. But at the same time, I would say this, the veterans and the people that are running the organization see how Harry and Megan are trying to overtake the Invictus Games for their own publicity and branding purposes. They see that. So this is why I think you know, you have to wait and see what's going to happen, happen with the Invictus Games later to understand that, you know, the Royals would come out and speak and support the veterans. But as long as Harry and Meghan are still attached to it, as long as they are part of the branding of that, it's just best for them to stay away from it and to not indulge into that. Because you're 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 getting into something where they could twist it around and, and make it do something against you for even saying anything. So so I, I don't blame the royals for staying out of it. I really don't. Um, and I think the people of Invictus they want them out of it as well because people see what is happening, how they are trying to overtake it with all of this publicity, but. You know, I'm going to speak about that in another video, but I wanted to address what Thomas Markle said. And one of the things he said during this interview today, he said, I've done nothing wrong. You're absolutely right, because you have to look at people and their savviness around public relations. And he was approached. He did not reach out and say, hey, can I make some money? I'm going to sell some pictures of myself and I'm going to try to make some money off of the back of my famous now daughter. That's not what happened, folks. That's not what happened. He was approached, okay? And of course, the way he was approached by the, the organization that took the photos of him, you know, first they talked to the daughter, Samantha, you know, this would be good for your father, you know, try to encourage him to do this. And of course, Samantha's trying to help her dad. She talks to him about it. And they're like, okay, that would be nice to do some, some, some publicity shots to do something to, to improve my image considering how they just catch me in these random moments, not looking my, my, my best, I'm, I'm looking disheveled and all of these things. Of course, who would not want to have some nice photos? Who, who has never gone to have nice photos taken of themselves? That is all Mr. Markle was trying to do. And I believe, in my opinion, it was Meghan Markle who wanted to set her father up for these shots because she still works with the photographers to this day or allegedly still working with them. You know, there's, there's, there's these relationships come and go. But she, in my opinion, was behind Mr. Markle having these photos taken to set him up. And, and, you know, you can't blame the man trying to have some decency about himself. So get out of here with your nonsense. Talk about him taking those photos. OK, he didn't do it for money. He did it for his own image. He also went on to say that there's nothing that says I'm a bad guy. As a matter of fact, I'm a really loving father and she knows that. And there's no excuse for her to treat me this way. And that is exactly right. Let's just get down to the bare bones of all of this. There is no excuse none 
zilch for this woman to be treating her father this way. It is embarrassing. It is disgusting. And it is very, very sad and tragic. And anybody that takes up for her should be ashamed of themselves for condoning her treating her father this way because he is the one that raised her since sixth grade until she graduated high school. It was her father that she lived with full time. Where was Doria, mind you? I don't know. <laughs> Out uh, frolicking frolicking, smoking, doing what she did as a young woman who was able to just go and leave her child with the father. That's what she was doing because she certainly wasn't with Meghan Markle as a child growing up from sixth grade until she graduated high school, okay? He went on to say that Harry and Meghan should patch up their relationship with the royal saying that there was no excuse to treat the king this way. Exactly. And this, this is where the audacity of all of this comes, is that look at how Meghan and Harry treated the royal family with the book, the Netflix uh, documentary, how they just blurted it all out and spilled the beans on everything, which Meghan is still planning to do in her own book. But yet and still, she complains that her father did this to her exactly what she is doing in real time on a much bigger scale against the royal family. Now you tell me folks, if that ain't a contradiction, I don't know what it is. Okay, so, so look, you ain't, she hasn't remained silent in dignity. She has not, Megan has not. She has opened her big flap, flapping mouth talking about the royals making money off of the Royals and her, you know, saying things about the Royals, you know, but you're going to sit here and not even contact your own father for some measly pap shots that he did. What? You have got to be kidding me because let me tell you something. This is nothing more than the film that we have all seen that I have done a video about several years ago called the imitation of life. Yes, the imitation of life. This is nothing more than that, but reverse, where she is embarrassed of her white side family. Okay? When in this country have we condoned someone for treating elderly people this way? When have we condoned someone treating their father this way in public? When have we condoned a celebrity to say it's okay to ignore your, your, your father who clearly is not doing well and who may not have much longer to live on this earth. I think it's important for people to hear it and to understand, would you condone being in the circle or supporting somebody who wants to do good things for the men and women of the Invictus games, right? <laughs> or to even be a humanitarian and we hear her father on a world stage pleading, pleading to see him. You know, what does that do? It gives people the, the, the real story about who Meghan Markle really is. At the core of her being, at the depths of her soul, you know this is a woman that don't give two cents about no veterans. She don't give two cents about anybody that wants to support her because if you can't love your own daddy who paid for your college, who supported you in the entertainment industry, getting you your first jobs, who helped you with your college in all the things that she's, she's done more than your own mother. If you cannot support a man who has done these things for you that you have always raved about before your royalty days, if you're that kind of person, then you are the lowest of the low. And people, I'm telling you, people who are in Meghan Markle's circles and who are working with her, shame on, on you for even being connected to a woman who is treating her father, an elderly man this way in real time. And you two are ignoring it because you two are just lolly footing around, la di da Okay, Megan, what we gonna do today, girl? What we gonna do? Okay. <laughs> you know, and here in the background is your father who is pleading to be heard and seen by this woman that you just so happen to be working with. Shame on those people too. And that's right, I said it. 
Shame on you.